My name's Shaquan, but a lot of people know me by my other name, Mad Skills. I'm an MC. My name is Mad Skills. Now it's next to me. I'm a DJ. Oh, yeah. I'm a ghostwriter for some of your favorite rappers. I'm not about to tell you who, though. Oh. But most importantly, I'm a hip hop enthusiast. Hip hop confessions is raw, unfiltered conversations with my friends revealing things that they didn't like, never knew about, I don't know, or never got into about hip hop culture. So sit back. Oh, come on, y'all. Turn up the volume. Hip hop. And listen to hip hop confessions. Because everybody's got one. There's a little story that must be told. And it goes a little something like this. this, this, this. What's up, y'all? This your boy, Mad Skills, and we are here with episode five of Hip Hop Confessions. This is the first episode of 2021, and outside of doing our normal confessions, being that we just dropped the 2020 wrap-up, uh, and we've gotten a lot of traction on it, it's, it was super successful. I pulled in everybody that had something to do with making the video and the song for the 2020 wrap-up. So... I would like to introduce my guests to y'all. These are my brothers, my fam. I know I say that every episode, but I only do episodes with my fam. So to my right, I got my homeboy Tremaine Johnson in the building. Oh, we call wow. him filmmaking Treasy. What's wow. up, Playboy? Whole government. Nobody knows me by Tremaine except for the IRS. <laughs> it's Treasy, bro. How you feeling, man? Oh, man, I'm good, man. I'm good. Thank you for coming. I got my other brother, Christopher Schaefer, in the building. What's popping, bro? Yo, we, yo. Yo, we, yo. Also, I got the producer of the 2020 wrap-up, Andrew Hypes. What's cracking? Yo, what's up, Mad Skills? I'm chilling, Andrew. <laughs> as you can tell, though, as you can tell the conversation, you know what, I'm going to leave that alone. And also, I got my homeboy, crazy dope artist from richmond he's also a engineer extraordinaire master extraordinaire of all things sound give it up for my homeboy michael millions in the building y'all hey, make some noise peace, y'all. Peace, 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 peace for having me yes sir. so everybody in the room right now has something to do with the 2020 wrap up uh i wrote the song andrew produced the beat michael millions mixed and mastered the song and treasy and Chris were the video directors of the song. So Treasy, you gonna help me co-host this thing or what, man? What we doing? I'm I'm with it. I'm with it. We can all do right, that. Because I mean I, I don't want to ask all of the questions. So mm. no, let's let's start it off, Trees. Let's get it. Um well first and foremost, man, I, I you know, I, I feel like I, I've told everybody, but but Mike, I haven't seen you or talked to you in a, in a minute, man. But while we got everybody in the room, I just wanted to say congratulations. We did it. Everybody stuck their foot in it, and I'm glad we got it. Yeah, Thank you. Got man. it out. Thank you. Hey, everybody hey, did a hey, great hey, job. Hey, yo, we yo. Clap it up. Clap it yeah. up. Clap it up. I, I see, to to me, was kind of ill, and and this is what I appreciate you uh, about you skills is that everybody on this call is Virginia bred. Everybody's from Virginia, so facts. Uh, you know the fact that you bought it home to VA for everybody to get the chip. Uh, I appreciate you for that one. Um, oh, thank you, man. I couldn't have did it without y'all. Yeah. What I, You had hella pressure this year, bro. 2020 might go on the record as they, they might have to make a whole new testament in the Bible based upon, <laughs> based upon 2020, bro. Um, so you had a lot of pressure with making this wrap up this year. How did you... Mm -hmm. I, and I know the people wanted it, man. At what point in the year did you say, all right, man, how the fuck am I going to attack this? How am I, how I'm going to approach this? And how I'm going to get this one off the ground? I didn't really know, bro. I had no clue how I was going to pull this off. It started out as how it always starts out with just me doing the song. Uh, people been, you know, telling me all year, all year, all every one of my comments was, the, the wrap up gonna be a double disc. The wrap up going you gonna need two albums, bro. And <laughs> and don't get me wrong, I'm sitting there and I'm looking at the calendar and I'm thinking to myself, um, you know, hey, uh, you know, there's still the same 365 days of the year. So even though we were sitting in the house for a very long time, it was still something that had to be done. You know what I'm saying? So I just kept it that way. Right, right. But but 
I mean, all that shit is real. I mean, I feel like you could have broke this bitch up in quarters, like a, like an NBA game. Um, you could have done the double disc. Like, how do you figure out what's the most important to say in a situation like that? Um, you have to. I have to gauge what was more important. It's plenty of things that could have been mentioned, um, but it it didn't take precedence over the important stuff. Like the important stuff had to get mentioned. You know what I'm saying? Right. Uh, that makes sense. So, so did, the, did, do you, when you make these wrap ups and, and please jump in anybody else who, who got something to say, jump in. I'm asking these questions. Cause these are all questions that even though I got your number, we text all the time. I don't really ever ask you about this part of the process. I don't really talk to you about right. the wrap up. You know, we just kind of, it comes out We you know, I listen to it. I support. I tell you how I feel about it. We keep it pushing. You know, we keep right. doing what we doing. But so, does the beat come first, or do you start writing first? Mm, it, the beat usually comes first. But uh, that I had the I had the beat, Andrew. When did I when did I get that beat from you? It was like uh, June, sure right? We did it. Yeah, we yeah we did it in June. Originally, you had heard it and liked it. Yeah, we did a whole nother song to that beat. Mm -hmm. in june because me and andrew are always oh, wow. recording and um uh i just kept it i had you know i was i was kind of just talking over it kind of just you know doing some some uh mumbling some just some stuff to just stay in a in a pattern to pick up a flow on it and i just always had it in my phone you know what i'm saying yeah mm -hmm. i was gonna say because in the beat when i listened to it when you first sent it over I couldn't quite figure it out, right? In the in the in the hook or the chorus where it was like mumbling and I was like I was like, it's catchy, but what you saying? And when you explained it right. to me, I was like, Oh, well, you know, no, I get it. Oh, <laughs> right. so that's so that sample is actually you mumbling that skills? That that sample is me pause over top of Andrew. <laughs> Andrew was saying something <laughs> Andrew was saying something melodic under it. And I yeah. one day I was listening to it and I said, yo, it almost sound like you saying throw it in the trash. Uh -huh. And he was like, that's not what I'm saying. I said, but it sounds like that. Right. And he was like, mm -hmm. oh, it kind of does. So it was kind of like that tribe called Quest. Uh, you know, how you got my heart for the evening? Right. Like, so tribe put their words over that melody, but that's not what that was saying. Right. So me and Andrew... I think shit. I I want to say it came to me sometime in December. I want to say like December fourth. I was like, it sounded like you saying throw it in the trash. Mm. And he was like, Nah, I don't know what I was saying. I said, Yo, we gonna make that shit throw it in the trash. Mm. Yeah, because that's how I felt about the year. Right, right, right. And and then it from there, you know what I'm saying? It just it grew legs. Yeah. Okay. No, that that. I, that so makes around sense, December, huh? that was when you was starting to. Examine like which beat you were gonna use. I say around December third, December fourth. Um, yeah, that's when I was like, we going we gonna use this beat because I wasn't gonna do the song. And then I started thinking to myself, well, let me give it a valiant effort. Let me try it. Right. So I started writing December, December, maybe seventh, just like formulate my thoughts and just put notes in my phone. I ain't really start writing, writing until later. So it got to be annoying, bro. I know how it is. Like, I don't, I don't never have, there's nothing that I do that people demand from me. Right. But I know like right. when, when I'm doing something that is in demand, I can get overwhelmed just by people wanting answers about shit. Mm -hmm. mm. Is there, how overwhelmed were you with the response to people saying, yo, you got to do this shit. This got to get done. More, it was more so this, it was more crazy this year than ever. Like, like you, you and you and Chris direct videos, right? Mm -hmm. Imagine shooting a video for an artist and then y'all finish the shoot. And you like, man, this shit gonna be dope, bro. You killed it. This shit gonna be dope. And he like, oh man, I can't wait to see the footage. And you like, all right, I'm gonna hit you when I got some. Right. And then you walk away and get in the car and close the door. And that nigga say, yo, what it look like? <laughs> when you get home, that nigga say, yo, you got some? Right. <laughs> and you like, yeah, bro, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna text you when I got some. Then you go to sleep and you wake up the next morning. He like, man, that footage crazy. Let me know when you got some. Right. 
And you like, bro, I ain't even put all this shit into the program that I use to edit videos yet. Relax, bro. Right. Imagine doing that all year long. Yeah. I see. I see shit. It's what? Today's what? January 7th? And, I and see motherfuckers nigga. is asking me for 2020 <laughs> wrap up on January fucking seven. Right, but, but <laughs> rightfully so. I mean, what's, what's happened so far? We've had Dr. Dre's had a had a brain injury. Dr. Dre, which Kim is, and Kanye, Kim and Kanye, the uh, capital, the, the, the capital, which is the biggest news right now, which yeah. is fresh on everybody's minds. Right. And motherfuckers is like, you could do a wrap up right now, skills. I'm like, bitch, it's January six. That's a fact. <laughs> <laughs> That's a fact. You, but yeah, but I, but I get it though. I get it. Is it, do do it feel like? And this is a general question. Do y'all feel like twenty twenty one is shaping up to be twenty like uh, part two of twenty twenty, or do we not want to put that in the air? Bro, this is this is December thirty ninth. Like right. we ain't. <laughs> <laughs> That's a fact. Right. right. That's a fact. Real quick, Mike, man. Like so, so skill starts writing like December seventh. He starts to lay his shit down. How much pressure comes on you, like in, in the timetable that he brings this material to you? Is it kind of heavy on you to to record it, mix it, and like really put it together? Is that a, is that a tall order? Definitely. Um, but you know what's funny is like everything you know in music kind of slows down, even with people like wanting to put out projects and like do different things so my workload just in general kind of chills out like around december but the main thing i'm waiting for is the wrap up but i don't say nothing to him throughout the year like i just because i know like i could go you could go online and just look at like hundreds of people every day just like yo oh i know the wrap up gonna be this long it's gonna be 30 minutes and i'm like yo i'm not about to hit homie and <laughs> do the same thing like i don't even say right. nothing I, I might just send an emoji like with the ears like yo let me hear it we only got like five days left Look, send it over like <laughs> right so so i just i wait till like maybe the maybe the last maybe f five six days of the year and i just, i might shoot a brief little one two or <laughs> but i i'm no different than anyone else like i'm like shoot that rap when he told me the rap up was um eight minutes i was like yeah 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 i knew it was gonna be like 30 minutes yeah right. so. <laughs> and the funny part is i recorded it at andrews and then we send the files to mike but if i post mm -hmm. anything like you know if i when i posted just me writing it like written down on a piece of paper 2020 and people started saying oh shit is coming yeah. mike just hit me like send it when it's ready bro like i'm <laughs> I'm, I'm waiting on you yeah you know i'm man? waiting like everybody else I'll, I'll be waiting but i'll be on the lookout like i, I plan like i've been moving around a bit like moved out my crib but i was like let me make sure i'm settled i got my new my other space set up like i want i totally like prepared for that situation because i know it was coming so i was like yeah, <laughs> right. but I'm yeah, no different usually, than everybody else. Yeah, Mike is usually the second person to hear it. If somebody else did the beat, mm -hmm. then Mike will probably hear it after the producer. You know what I'm saying? Um, like, it's only two people that's going to hear it. The person whose music I'm talking over and right. the person who is going to make me sound like the way I want to sound in the song. So Mike usually hears it right after the producer. Right. So, Mike, because you're a lyricist, too, and you're an ill one at that. Do you ever have any, like... Do you ever have the urge to make suggestions and shit like, nah, you should, th why you ain't talk about this or like, why nah. you ever say it like, you don't ever do that? Nah, you, nah, uh uh, uh uh, nah. I, I, I mean, I, I'm be more amazed that he remember all of this stuff. I think my memory's <laughs> poor. You know, I'll be like, yo, I forgot about that. So I'll be, I listen to it almost as a, a recap. Like, I, I might listen to the vocals and I don't even do nothing to him for maybe about, 15 minutes i'm just listening to like yo that really happened this year and like um so yeah now i don't be I, I don't have many suggestions um i think you know skills is you know he won with the pen so if anything i'm listening and learning still like just like oh man like it's ill that you just even take this on all this time and uh real quick and most people don't notice i was in the studio like as a kid watching him, well, I ain't gonna say kid, but I was in my, I was like a teenager when he started doing the, uh, 
when you laid the joint at Art Cred. Oh, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I was there that day or that evening. And I was like, yo, this is crazy. So, like, for it to be, like, full circle, I'm still, like, that same person. Even when the tracks come in, I'll be like, yo, that's crazy. Right. <laughs> that's dope. I, t- I, I will tell you who gives me advice and says, yo, you got to put this in there. What? Questlove? Mother- no, motherfucking Andrew. Like, oh, oh yeah, yeah, I know Andrew go hard. <laughs> this, bro, this year, bro, this year, this motherfucker, man, sitting in this motherfucker studio. He, he, was, was, trying, like, he was trying to produce you. Bro, he was producing me, but he was like, yo, you got to say something about da 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 I'm like, Andrew, that shit wasn't that big. Bro, are you serious right now? I'm like, I'm like, Andrew, like, Yo, he's because Andrew, like he, you know, he's he's very he's very social media friendly. Like he knows shit. But Andrew, I'd be like Andrew, that shit was cool, but it won't that big. Nah, bro, I'm telling you, that shit was a moment. And I'm like, no, it wasn't. Like, wow, that's. But funny. it took us a while. It took us a while to cut all that shit, bro. It took us a while. Yeah. Like what? Two sessions, Andrew? Yeah, definitely. Yeah, yeah, I would imagine, man. Yeah, for like, you, sure. You know the thing that the thing that I wonder is like, <clears throat> you know, as when y'all are coming to the end of, because at some point you have to make the song right in order to pass it on to like Schaefer, somebody like Chris to, to put the video together. The song has to be complete. So like, how do you not double dutch and want to jump back in there as shit happens? You know what I'm saying? Like you put a button on the rhyme and then some fly shit happens or not fly shit, but some memorable shit for the year happens. How do you constrain yourself to not want to put that in? The first thing is you have to accept that once you put it in the world, it's going to be crucified and it's going to be celebrated. That's the first thing. It's always going to be something that you missed. You know what I'm saying? Um, Mm -hmm. But my thing is how important was it? whatever it was that I didn't put in, how important was it? Right. You know what I'm saying? So for me, um, I definitely, you know, I stopped putting like, like for instance, I stopped putting the names of the people who passed away in the song four or five years ago, because that would have made the song too long. Right. It was one year, bro. Like I know we had a rough year with deaths this year, Mm -hmm. but it was one year, bro. I, I looked at the list of people that passed away. And I was like, it's no way. Because then the song would turn into one long obituary. Mm. So I just try to generalize mm. them and say, rest in peace to everybody we lost, um, to the people who not with us no more. You know what I'm saying? Now, the deaths that were tragic and, and, and shook the whole world, not saying that no one's death right. is, is, is to be gauged, but it's no way to make that a whole song. So uh, is that like a, a side effect of it? Like, do you ever get people that say, yo, bro, like in this one, yo, bro, you mentioned Pop Smoke, but you ain't mentioned such and such. Why you ain't mm-hmm. mentioned such? You get that a lot, too? Now, mind you, I mentioned Pop Smoke, and, and but the general the general consensus was they shooting and killing rappers out here. Right. So once I say they shooting rappers and they killing rappers, that's, King that's Benny, right. that's King Von, Boosie. that's Mo3. Mm-hmm. That's boosy, you know what I'm saying? So it's a way to to make sure that everybody gets, you included. know, included, but I can't mention I can't say every name, bro, cuz the song would be too long as it is. And you you got to think, ask Andrew, the original wrap up, the first one was what, 6 minutes, Andrew? It was 6 minutes and 4 seconds? Yeah, yeah, the original, yeah. Yeah. Is this the longest wrap up? Yep. So far? This is the longest wrap up so far. Yeah, definitely. Who yo, whose idea was it to end it on George Floyd? Uh I had the idea and I called a few of my friends. And this was after I listened to the six minute version. Mm-hmm. And I was like, okay, what if the, the length of the song was the same length that the cop had his knee on George Floyd's neck. And all of my friends said, that's the only way you can end it. Yep. Because if there's ever a year to end it that way, you got to end it that way. Mm -hmm. So mind you, now I have people saying, I know the song going to be long, but I'm like, it's long for a reason. For a reason, right. And this is the first year that I didn't care about radio Mm -hmm. because I knew that most of the people was going to look at the wrap-up on their phone. Mm Mm-hmm. 
I didn't send it to no radio stations. Mm. Cause it wasn't meant to be the rap. This this year's wrap up was meant to be seen, experienced. It, you couldn't if you just listened right. to it on the radio, you weren't gonna get the full experience. That's a fact. That's a fact. Chris, did you get that call about like? Did you get the 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 George Floyd call? Like, yo, what if I end it like this? No, I wasn't on that list of people that was called. <laughs> oh, but yeah. but I think the decision was made when I did get the call. <laughs> Right. Because right. Skills has sent me like I think maybe like a minute version of, of the wrap up. Um and you know, you, you don't want to let it all out, so he sent me a snippet. Right. And so mm-hmm. when I listened to the snippet, I was like, Man, you're gonna need a visual. And he was like, I'm working on something. And I was like, Okay. He, well, he kinda knew he was already doing a visual at that point. When Skills called and he was saying that he was adding the uh the George Floyd part in, um I think we had kind of already started working on the video and he was like, yo, I think I'm going to make the song eight minutes and 46 seconds. And I thought for a second, I was like, he was like, you know why? And I was like, why? And he was like, cause that's how long the cop had his neck on George Floyd's neck. And I was like, oh man. Yeah. I was like, you got, you got more, more, you got another verse. <laughs> yeah. Right. That's, that's genius. Yeah. It was genius. genius. With, 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 how did you feel when you, when, when he told you that Mike, I, I I thought it was genius, but like it was just him telling me, like so. I'm like, oh word. Mm-hmm. So it wasn't until I was listening that that was really it was the impact of the listen, and you know, cause you trap you you you're listening to the the, the track and it's you know it, it's doing what it's doing. Skills got a particular flow all the way through pretty much, and then at the end it kind of switches gears, the heartbeats. And then it's like, oh, and then you actually sit there and think about, yo, that's a long time to be sitting on somebody's neck. This record was super long, you know? So I think it was genius. Um, I mean, I think in anything like music, you supposed to feel something, whether you feel good or bad or whatever, Mm -hmm. music supposed to make you feel something. And I think when it was over, like you had to feel that you you had to think about that and feel that so i thought it was genius yeah i agree you 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 know what um so like all right so today is what thursday and yesterday the joe Mm -hmm. button podcast came out right and Mm -hmm. at the top of the podcast the first podcast of the year they they you know they want to talk about the the wrap-ups you know yours Mm -hmm. and obviously uncle murders which the other one okay (laughs) the the other one um (laughs) you funny (laughs) but uh but you you know what's crazy is is you know they they had you know they had their own critiques about their their music guys man so they analyze things mm-hmm. from a from a music perspective that way but i could tell in that in that entire critique that nobody listened to the entire joint you know what i'm saying like did they like, listen course. to the song or did they look at the video no nah, they, they they didn't listen to it yeah i don't know it, well there's I no way they listen to it it's no way because they didn't even mention the ending and and, and to me um that would have oh, that would have so they missed it the, yeah yeah they, they, they didn't mention it so that it, it, the fact that they didn't mention it, the ending is so strong. It's like talking about usual suspects and not talking about the ending. And not you, talking about the ending. You, you know what I'm saying? The ending is so- Or the so, sixth sense, right. Right. The ending is so much a part of the experience that anybody that doesn't talk about it, it's kind of like, okay, you cap and you ain't even really listen to the genre. You know what I'm saying? Right. So that's kind of how I felt when I heard their critique about it, is, is that they clearly didn't listen to the entire joint. They had their- they had, they had their who is they? We, I, you said Joe Budden. Yeah, the Joe Budden yeah. podcast. It's, it's like other people with him or something. Yeah, so it's uh, it's him, um, and like three of his homies, his engineer oh, Parks, yeah, yeah. like us. It, it, yeah. Kind of like the situation, right? Right? Gotcha. Right? Uh, Parks, Maul, Rory. I don't I don't um, know none of them people. I know Joe. I don't know none of those people. <laughs> Joe Joe said you had his phone number. Why you ain't pick up the phone and call him when you said he was a whole I don't ass got weirdo? Joe Button phone. I don't have Joe Button phone number. Wait, <laughs> wait, wait, hold friends. on. Wait, hold on. Wait. Let me see. He said you could have called him. You know what? Oh yo. Oh, you oh he do. <laughs> and look, and he got the S at the end of it too. Buttons. That's disrespectful. I don't, <laughs> I don't know if this is still his phone number. Let me text him right now. The text the thing. That's is this funny. still your phone number? Yeah. Is this still your line? <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna text him yeah. right now. Is this still your line? That's funny. But he no, said, if they didn't go listen, in, so he, he said 804. He's gonna ask you. He's gonna be like, yo, I didn't know that joint was a point of contention for you. 
<laughs> I mean, I know I called say? him a weirdo. I know I called him a weirdo in the song, but that was because of what he did in last year. So, you know right. what I'm saying? And he got, but, I mean, he got to understand that. that that's, right. That's so, I don't, shit. man, listen, man, listen. Much respect to Joe nah. and the other dudes on the show. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, it's, that's New York shit. I expect that shit from New York, man. Right. But, they, they, but not just you. They had some choice words for the, for the for the production. So, you know, when I heard it first thing, I didn't want to come to you with it, Andrew, but I was like, let me save it for the podcast. They said this shit sounded like disco, Andrew. Wow. Hey, just because it's not what they're used to hearing. <laughs> we don't give a fuck about none of that, though, at the end of the day. We, we make music to make an impact. And, right. and if yeah. you didn't hear the whole Wait, record. And if Joe you Button just texted me. <laughs> well, he sound like a groupie. Wait, Joe Budden just No, wait, me. hold on. I, I said, is this still your line? He said, who is this? Nah, who is this? <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm going to put skills. Mm. <laughs> That's funny. So, what were you saying, Andrew? You said music is the beat. You said music is... I mean, this, this, this record particularly, too. You know, I mean, skills obviously felt a way about it. It inspired him. And then, you know, again, if if you miss the ending, like that's the mark. Like that's period. If you don't hear anything, as long as you pay attention to the ending, like right. that's 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 what he was trying to convey was the, the importance of of the shit. But but yeah, no, nah, I mean I don't care about that. To each his own. Yeah, that's a yeah, fact. Yeah, it, 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 you already know. But but like, see, so I've never I've never really had anything that I've done. All y'all, man, y'all y'all are y'all have all done things that you know ha have garnished a lot of attention, man. I've never. You know, so the world of critique, like how do how do y'all sit with that when people critique shit that y'all put into the world? Like, is part of you grateful that people are even seeing it, or or you know, do y'all ever take it into consideration, or how does that work? Listen, man, everybody everybody on here puts out product for other people to consume. Y'all yeah. do videos. Mike is an artist; he does music. Andrew does beats. I do music. Once you put it in the world, bro. It's, Somebody. it's no, yeah, it's no yeah. longer, yeah, it's no longer yours. It's mm. theirs. So, mm -hmm. you know, people said the beat, like, you know, they said the beat was whack. People hit me up and said, bro, this is the first time I ever cried at the end of a song. Multiple a, people told me that. It was a lot that. of that. It was a lot of that. So. Yeah. yeah it was a lot of that. Yeah, I don't know about y'all. I be checking comments. I don't give a fuck what y'all say. Yeah, I ain't be... gonna lie. I, I was all up in the comments. I, I, be, like, I be checking comments, yeah. man. I, I tried to check them, but it was just way too many to check. Like oh, I tried man. to get to right. them, but it was way too many. What, that video yeah. went up, bro. That shit went up quick. Yeah, fast. So, 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 Chris, man, let me let me pull you into this combo real quick because you, you were the driving force. Y'all give me y'all give me credit for the for the video, man. But anybody that doesn't know, man, Chris. Chris, that was his vision, and it was an immaculate vision. Um, yeah. What uh, what made you say we have to do this vertical? I mean, because I was there for that conversation, but you know, I, it was just like, okay, when Chris, you know, you you know the social space a lot more than anybody I know. But what made you be definitive that this had to be a vertical video? Because if you're gonna release a song that was as powerful as that. And you're gonna release it on New Year's Day. Why not give it to everybody while they're holding their phone in their hand? And that's, you know, on New Year's Day, everyone's checking the news. Everyone's looking for something. What's what's new? It's the beginning of a new year. So if everybody's gonna be holding their phone, let's put it in their phone. Mm. So deliver it in that way, you know, and do a full screen video. Because do a full screen video just, you know, to make sure that you're delivering a a, a the message correctly, you know what I'm saying? If that makes sense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. well, basically, like properly and correctly, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Are, are we cutting through with the right setup, with right. the right vision? So, so to you, it was bigger than just yo. Here's a video to represent the song. You're like, yo, I want to get it to the people. I want, I want this to meet the people where they're at, sort of thing. From yeah, for me, it was like I don't want people to scroll away. Um, don't give them any and, inch to scroll away from the from what they're seeing. Yeah. So the first thing you see, you know, you know what it is. It's the wrap up. Right. Yeah. And and it was his idea because it was Beans's idea or Chris's idea to say, yo, because remember we was power. And we was like, he was like, yo, you got 20 seconds to pull these yep. people in. 20 seconds and they might keep on scrolling. So what are you going to do in the first? And I was like, I don't know, Beans. Let's just nah, start you, the you song. Got a, like, you got an eighth of a second. 
you got an eighth right. of a second to pull those people in to catch their attention. Yeah. And I'm like, I don't know. That scroll right. game is mean. <laughs> right. And and I'm like, I don't know. And and then he was like, okay, what sums up this year? What happened a lot this year? I was like, I don't know, Beans. Let's just start the video, man. Like my fans, he was like, nah, we gotta do something. And then we he came up with the idea. He was like, yo, get a COVID test. Mm -hmm. Like get an over exaggerated yeah. COVID test, like the longest fucking Q tip ever. That like that's was, what this year was yeah, like. <laughs> that shit was long as a bitch, bro. And you that's a fact. Saying? No, no. Listen, Chris was surgical with that shit, man. Like, yeah. you know, we we've done a lot of work together, and and it was it was dope being on the other side, kind of like the um the 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 side of like seeing you be your full creative self with a full creative purpose with a basis to work with that shit was that shit was amazing bro because you were a fucking surgeon about the the he imagery was. about the placement of things i that, that was an experience for me bro yo man it, all i can say is it's been a very long quarantine and i was excited to work on something from you know start to finish and mm -hmm. this was probably yeah one of the only projects that that I saw through completely, you know, from from start to finish in 2020. So I'm like, all that stored up creativity is like, let me lend it to you. Let's mm. do this. Yeah, that's dope, man. And the turnaround was quick. So how how long was it? It was what three days, maybe, from the time that we shot it to the time that it came out. Four days. Well, I, three. I yeah. did have I did have other projects lined up, right? So you came through one day, and we knocked out all the filming, and um. After that, I had to wrap up some other projects. But once I started it, oh, no, that was like a 36 hour straight edit with like four hours of sleep in between. Yeah. What? Yeah, I remember he was It up. was nonsense yeah, was because I was sending stuff to Treasy mm -hmm. and Treasy was sending stuff back to me. Like we were having this whole like, I think we might have yeah, broken the internet a couple going. times. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And my, so I, I'm in, I was in, I'm in post production for a joint that I, that I shot at the end or at the beginning of December. Then of course we had New Year's coming up, but it, my tenth year anniversary, my tenth year marriage anniversary, was is January was January first. So you know, like I'm getting pressure from my wife, like, yo, what, you know, what's up? What we doing for the COVID tenth year anniversary? <laughs> I'm putting everything on the back burner, man, trying to fit it all in between, man. And and um, I, yeah, I, it was like dodging raindrops, man. So uh, um. That, but that was the imp that was the importance of it for me, you know what I mean, and 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 I did everything that I that I could, but yeah, but but Chris really carried the water on that one, man. Um, and so kudos to you because I, I know how how little sleep I got, and and if you took it further than I took it, I can imagine you you ain't sleep a lick, Listen, bro. Listen, that right? was a struggle. That yeah. was a struggle. I was I was drinking so much coffee, but no, it was dope because like Skills put up a big challenge with that song. There's so much. You have to cover so much ground to cover when you mention so many things and you're thinking about the song is you know almost nine minutes long you're like all right where were we pulling, pulling visuals from <laughs> right right we were scrambling fam yeah we, <laughs> we was we were scrambling man it was it was some it was... you know but the way we did it man you know everything was a reflection of of what we talked about of what skills talked about in the song yeah that's mm -hmm. a fact and we pulled it off like to me you know I remember, you know, when I finally, because I was like, oh, you know, I think we, man, listen, New Year's Eve, New Year's Eve. And we was all like, yeah, I think it happened New Year's Eve. And then when I found out it wasn't going to make it, you know, Beans was like, Skills, I've been working on it, man, listen. And I was like, man, I want to get it out New Year's Eve. He was like, Skills, I know you want to finish first. Right. I know, I know you want to finish first. I know you worried about finishing first. How about we finish and when this shit hit the net, bro. It's no way like they gonna be able to deny this. It's it's gonna be special. It's gonna be worth the wait, skills. Yeah. And then when he sent me the next day, when he sent me the, the the final version, I just remember looking at my phone and I was like, "Yo, he was right. Yeah, he like, was he, right. He was right." Yeah, you was trying to fight. Yo, low key, fight. low key, mm -hmm. low key. I'm about to snitch on us, Treasy. Go for it. Hey, look, me and Treasy pregame the call. We was like. Let's try to see if we can get him to hold that joint off to like. Uh, oh, we lined you up. We lined you up. We lined you up. It was strategic. It was strategic. It was strategic. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Chris was, There's so much noise out there on the internet, man. You yeah. know, you got to make some. Yeah, yeah. Chris, Chris was like. Mike, no, nah, Mike, listen. It was one part of the conversation where I'm talking to both of them, right? So I said, right. listen. 
I said, yo, man, well, um, like, yeah, I'm, I'm looking forward to it, you know what I'm saying? And hopefully we'll be able to make it happen by, like, 9 p.m., this, that, and the third. And then Treasy goes, 9 p.m. tonight? And I was like, yeah, he said, he goes, he said, he said, yeah, Skills, I, I, I'm, I don't think we're going to pull that, be able to pull that off by 9 p.m. tonight. And then Beans goes, Beans, <laughs> Beans said it like this, I'm confident that we will. <laughs> and I was like... I was like, I said, and then I go straight to, I go straight to Chris. I said, I said, well, Chris said he could. And so Trees was like, oh, okay, okay. These, well, listen, with both of these niggas knowing, this shit ain't gonna make it tonight, my nigga. Like, we might yeah, have a whole conversation up. off this nigga. No, that's not no, no. I was truly, I was truly confident. confident. Yeah, I was confident. I, I've seen, I've seen Chris pull some shit, some, some, some shit out his ass. So when he said he could do it, I was just in awe. Like, yeah, this nigga process, his computer processor <laughs> must be some other shit, because I know how these renders go, bro. <laughs> yeah, like, right. Yeah, we were scrambling, Mike. You should have seen this, man. <laughs> it was crazy. But it was K- K- uh, computers running super hot. Uh, all of that shit. Uh, what they call Listen. Murphy's Law? Everything that can go wrong will go wrong? Will, yeah. Oh, Every man. time. Full effect. Full effect. So so let's, uh, the elephant in the room, man. They, You know, everybody talk about, uh, it's, it's kind of come to this convergence point where it's you, and his and his uncle murder. It's kind of like yeah, the Democrats and Republican with y'all and this motherfucking wrap up, man. Um, mm-hmm. And I know we ain't gonna stay here too long, man. But I, I just want to get your real thoughts on that, man. About about him doing a wrap up. Because to me, I'm, I, so I'll say this: when I first heard that he was doing a wrap up, and when I first became aware of it, I looked at it like, damn, that's dope. My big homie did something that is inspiring other niggas to do something. That's how mm-hmm. I looked at it. You know what I'm saying? Gotcha. But that was how I viewed it. How do you That's view right. that shit? I mean, for anyone that wants to know how how it all came to a head and how it happened, or you could just Google Murdergram on YouTube. That's a diss record yeah. uh, that I put out in 2018. Um, uh, but because before that, he was trying to steer people away from listening to my song. So I, you know. Um, I heard, I didn't hear his, um, I went to, uh, I, I went to the link and I saw that it was 14 minutes long or whatever. And I, I don't have that kind of time. So, <laughs> right. um, uh, I call it, um, for me, it's like, yeah, he does it. You know, we got two different avenues. Um, I, but I don't look, you know, I don't, I don't look at it as anything. I, I call it, I call his like a, like a New York wrap up, like. He, it's like a tri-state wrap up like it's for it's made for them like right. mine is different you know what i'm saying right right yeah. right what, what 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 that's your take on it too mike i mean now nah, my take on it is i got a hip-hop take on it i feel like i, I felt like I felt like when he when it first happened, I was like, "Whoa, you know what I'm saying?" But then I I thought it was love, and then it won't it won't really all that, you know what I'm saying? It was mm-hmm. really like, "Yo, I'm gonna take this," you know what I'm saying? And I'm like, "Nah, like that's not that hip hip hop. You ain't supposed to be jacking, you know what I'm saying? You ain't supposed to be on nobody, you know. That's somebody whole. That's somebody else whole Steve, oh, you know what I'm saying? Whole right. thing. And it's like I don't know. I, I think it's I think it's bug that you know people even champion it like for real. That's just my real opinion. Yeah. You know what I mean? I, 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 that's that skills joint. You know what I mean? Like I, that's that's what he created. That's what he brought to the table. Like it ain't no taking. You can't take from that. Like that's. I I just think it's weird that people even applaud it. That's like I don't know. That's like when people was buying Air Force Ones out the flea market or something, man. Like, <laughs> right. why, why y'all going to big up your man because he got on the all whites? Like, nah, this ain't even the real. Like, right, right, right. Nah, I like, like, I like you know, the real. But that's just my the way I feel about it. I, right. I just, I, and but so, I'll like, to, even I'll if I listen. to that just as a Virginian, though. As a Virginian, yeah. you look at skills. Skills is a living legend. Yeah. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. In I, streets, absolutely. In these I, VA I, I streets. I mean, yeah. Absolutely, absolutely. Yeah. So, so, like, so we that's look a whole other as Virginians to hear that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, Every year. yeah, yeah. Nobody else like, likes that. That's a fact. I, you know, I can't. Uh, like, I, I just, I don't know. You know, I guess it's just going out the window. Like the the non biting. Like, right. I guess you know. 
Like I, I just know it. I know if I started a crew of niggas that rap with me and I say, yo, our name is the diplomats, nigga. Yeah. We the diplomats. Niggas would be like, All right. Nah, nigga. Yeah. Like, nah. That's they gonna cam, be like, that's nah. cam shit. Right. Nah, right. y'all niggas and ain't no diplomats, nigga. That's cam shit. That's Jim. That's that's Jewels, nigga. Yeah. Y'all gotta come yeah. up with another name, B. Yeah. And I wouldn't yeah. even say, oh nigga, we the Virginia diplomats. I'm like, nah, nigga, we diplomats. Mm. Like, nah, yeah. nigga. Yeah. Fuck yeah. you talking about. Yeah, yeah. So I never thought me, that you know, part of the game was cool. Like that that part ain't gonna never be cool, so yeah, I, I, I've yeah. come to I've come to look at it the same way that y'all look at it. Like I said, I, I didn't arrive there at first because I didn't really know, I didn't really know the essence behind it. I didn't know that the, the character or the reason behind it. I just, you know, I was thinking in terms of inspiration. But when you really start, you know, peeking under the hood, it's a, it's an intelligence deficit. You know what I'm saying? Niggas don't, right. you know, niggas, you know, God bless him. I mean, he, you know, he got, you know, he know how to put words together. He know how to string words together. But I look at you know biting in that way as a as a real intelligence deficit. You know what I mean? Um, Listen, bro. They can copy your style. They can't never copy your creativity. There it is, bro. Right. And that's you that. Know what I'm to, saying. And that's that on that to put a button on that. Um, yeah. And that shit was longer than two rappers delights, nigga. Yeah. <laughs> 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 nigga you, you, you made two. You made three rappers delights, nigga. <laughs> yeah, that's funny, man. But having said that, though, is 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 there two part question? How long do you feel like you can keep the wrap up up? That's question number one. And number two, is there any interest to pass the torch to any young niggas? Excuse me, young brothers, young sisters, or any young artists? Like, is there anybody in in your in your sights that you feel like is worthy of passing the torch to? If if you were to let the wrap up go, not right now. Um, it, it, because the first criteria, you're going to have to be a, a MC, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? Like somebody that could put, put words together and, and keep people's attention. I haven't thought about passing it down to anybody. Um, but I, I would say if, if I got two more in me, then that would probably, that would probably it ended on an even 20 and that'd be the perfect place to leave it. Like for 20 years, here's a time capsule of everything that happened in pop culture and hip hop. Um, you know, and it's a tradition for some people. So I'm like, I can't lead a tradition on year 19. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, like you yeah. don't retire on year 19. You, you, you know, you I like, that's like, yo, I've been with this team for 20 seasons. I'm gonna go ahead and call it a wrap now. So mm. 20, 20, that number 20 looks very attractive. You mm. know what I'm saying? <laughs> and, and, and I already know, even with the people, with, with the team that I've assembled and the people that helped me on it. Uh, you guys, mm -hmm. we got a hell of a fucking job because to top what we just did, mm -hmm. God damn, like, I, I got to I mean, jump out bro, of a plane and do the wrap up next year. <laughs> bro, not, bro, it, it's it's only January 6th, yo, or 7th, what's the day? You might, you never it's know like, what this year holds. <laughs> yeah, that's right. a fact. We got time. Yeah. It's something you should consider, though, like, like in, on the 20-year mark, you should definitely consider how to make, you know, the first of all to keep up with anything for two decades is fucking real as a bitch you know what mm -hmm. I mean but um you should definitely consider like what to do to really break the mold for the second decade you know what I mean right. for the 20 year anniversary of the wrap up I, I, I'd love to have that's one of them conversations you gotta start planning now though you know what I mean because right. it's like the events plus the, the, the action of what you're doing um yeah. come to a head man is there anything else man I wish to, I wish uh I wish I knew enough I wish I had a big enough following to uh Hit the people up, and I, I feel like the people have so many questions about the wrap up, man. And I, I, I know I'm not representing everything the people probably want to know. Um, I mean, I try to answer them in the comments and things of that nature. Um, but I just wanted to get everybody on that, uh, you know, that um, was a part of it, and uh, and 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 let let people get a behind the scenes on. The people who helped me make the video, the people who helped me, you know, what I'm saying, make the song sound good. The people who did the beat, because I'm, I'm, I, I ain't no, you know, I ain't do this shit by myself, man. Y'all brought that thing to life with me as well, right. and I, I appreciate y'all so much, man, because we definitely made something special. Like I told you, I've been rapping. 20, 20 some years, you know what I'm saying? I ain't never had nobody tell me, yo, I cried. Like yeah. multiple people, That's like big. I, I cried. That's big. Did, did, out of curiosity, did anybody from George Floyd's family reach out to you? 
I did have somebody that hit me up from Joyce Floyd's family and, and, and said they appreciated us and how we represented him. And that, that right there was, I was good. It. I was good. Yeah, that you know makes it all worth it. So, so, so to keep, tr- so to keep true to hip hop confessions and, and, and what the nature of the show is, every one of y'all, if y'all could give me a memorable moment of making the wrap up, the 2020 wrap up, a moment that when you was, when you was, in the midst of it, you were like, "Yo, this is what the fuck is up." Nah, I, I so I'm I was in my I'm in my people's crib and I was mixing the record, and I listened to like I told you I listened through the joint a few times, and then my pops came in the room and was like, "Yo, what's that? That's just, that joint sound good." Like you know, he 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 a little older. He like sixty one, so he like listening to the joint. Like, yo, yeah, yeah, that joint got good music, and I'm like. Yo, it's the wrap up. You want to hear it? And he was like, "You sure? I could come in and hear it." I was like, "Yeah, come in. Let's. I'll play it for you." Right, right, right. And he he listened through it all the way through, and um, he at the very end, you know, he was like, "Whoa, that's powerful." And I ended up talking to my pops about that joint for like forty five minutes. I like I, I was supposed to have been mixing, but like I, it took me like an hour to get back to it because. My pops was talking to me about it and like everything within it and then the end. And I was like, yo, that's crazy. Like you 61 years old and this record impacted you like, you know, like anyone else. So I think that was pretty memorable. That was the probably most memorable part. That's dope. Yeah. No, I was going to say when we were in here shooting, man, you know, it was really like a scramble to like put together all the imagery. And I just remember at one point I had put out a bag of Hershey gold nuggets and these gold nuggets just started to like disappear. And by the end of the night, the bag was empty. And I'm like, I'm looking at y'all too, like, really? Y'all ain't even like throw something in, you know what I'm saying? And you know, you didn't put it on this. You put it on it. We just took, just took away. But from it was the family size. It was the family size. It was like a five yeah. pound bag, man. Y'all tore through that bag quick. We ran through them. I, yeah, I'm guilty, nigga. Guilty Simpson, nigga. Listen, I got a, I got a memory, and I'm I'm totally going away from the memory I was gonna use. Uh-huh. So we we at we at we at Christopher's uh, studio. We shooting we shooting the footage, right? Uh-huh. Chris goes, "Yo, man, y'all hungry? Y'all want something to eat or something?" And I was like, "Yeah, what you think about ordering?" He's like, "Man, listen, I'm probably gonna get a sandwich or something." I was like, "All right, cool." So we got sandwiches. You know what I'm saying? Because the, the funny part about it is when I got to Chris's studio to shoot and you got there, mm-hmm. we spent four hours just shooting the shit and just talking just before before a camera right. was even cut on. Right. Right. We was just talking. We ate. We shot Oh, the no. Shit, we we were waiting for a mix, though. We were waiting for a mix. Oh, yeah. We was waiting for a mix. <laughs> oh, yeah, 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 yeah. We was waiting for a mix. But so... We 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 eat we finish eating uh, you know I got I got some clothes or whatever and and Chris is like all right man you know let's because we had came up the COVID shot was gonna be the first shot so we was like all right let's let's try to get this COVID shot together so he got the lights up I've already changed Treasy's over there on his computer Chris is setting up the shot and Chris goes yo it smell like onions in here. <laughs> <laughs> and then cuz the his studio was reeking of onions, right? Cuz we both he's like you got onions on your sub. I was like I definitely did. He's like I got onions on my sub. So I remember going to the I remember going to the going to the restroom in, in, in his in his next space and then I come back and the door is open. So I just walk in, I close the door. <laughs> and he's editing on the computer setting up the shot. This motherfucker said Nah, keep that door open because them onions, yo. <laughs> yo he, made it it like, like, he made it seem like it was the like onions was living outside. with us. <laughs> it was cold it was as like shit. 20 degrees outside. Too. That's funny. Keep that man. door open because them onions, them yo. Onions, cuz. Yeah. But but you you said you 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 veered away from the original one. You was gonna say what was the original one? You was gonna say the original. <laughs> the original one. thought was that um I'm glad we ended it the way that we did and uh. You know, I I, I I realized that, you know, the song and the video touched people in a way that we never imagined. Um, and don't get me wrong, my intention was for people to say, damn, it's a long song. Like, but also to go, 
damn, like I can't imagine fighting for my life the whole time that I've been listening to this. Right. Excuse me. And that was the the gut punch at the end that, you know, turned this one into something special. Like this one might be my favorite out of all of them. And the, the first one used to be my favorite because it was the first. Mm -hmm. But this one in the year that we had, this one has definitely moved up to the front and taken precedence over that. That's real. Yeah. I, I, I remember when you um when I got the version with the because you sent the version before that didn't have the George Floyd ending. And then mm -hmm. I remember when you sent the version that had the George Floyd ending. And I remember listening to it and getting to the end. And I was in my room, you know, we, we quarantined in the crib. I, you know, my crib is only but so big. So it was me, my wife, my daughter. So whenever I take phone calls, I usually go back in my room so I don't disturb like my wife, my daughter, and stuff like that. Go mm -hmm. go back in me and my wife's room. And um, and I so I got off the phone call with you and I played the joint. And I listened. And I remember like slow walking out to my living room, like, you know, my wife was sitting on the couch watching TV. And I was like, yo. She said, what? I said, yo, Skills just sent me the 2020 wrap up and the ending is fucking crazy. And I remember saying, yo, do you want to listen to it? And she had a hesitation on her face. She was like, no, nah, I want to hear it when it come out. And that's when I was just wow. like, I was just like, yo, that is it's dope to be part of something that people cherish as an experience. You know what I'm right. saying? Especially people that are close to you. Um, so, so I, I remember that being like a vivid moment for me. Like, damn, my wife ain't even want to get the pre the sneak preview. She right. wa she want to wait to hear it with the people. You know what I mean? Right. And, and I, like I said, I knew that people were gonna maybe listen to it and go, uh, I don't like the beat. I don't, I, I don't like his flow. I don't want to hear that shit. And then they would comment, man, I ain't, I ain't into this. It, or it's whack. It ain't dope. And then somebody else would go, oh my god. I'm crying. That ending, and then a person would go, "Oh, what? What was it about the ending?" Uh -huh. You know what I'm saying? Like, so you had to go back. <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm saying? And when you listened to it in full, and you watched all of those visuals in full, and you got to that ending, yeah. and to hear his voice at yeah. the end yeah. saying he couldn't yeah. breathe, that was bro, that was powerful. Because we had two separate endings. Yeah. For the visual, and you convinced me, and I'm glad y'all did. Y'all convinced me to go with the one that we went with yeah. because the other one might have been too much for people to bear. No, nah, I mean, both of them were hard, but yeah, for sure. That first ending that we had was a fucking, I, yeah, that was, I, no, yeah. What, was, yeah. what was it like for Andrew to produce that? He 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 rolled out. He well, in yeah. his session now. He oh, rolled out. He in his man. session. Yeah. But, um. He you he'll tell you, hey bro, it was crazy, bro. I loved it. <laughs> hey, hey man, you, you might got to start getting royalties off of, uh off of Andrew's uh uh off his request these days. He might be getting hit up for beats and shit. Listen, Word. man, it's a good dude right there. I'm glad we I'm glad we made magic. Man. Yeah, man. What? Well, thank you, thank you for uh for sticking with it for 18 years, bro. I, you know, I don't tell you enough, man, because, you know, we homies and shit, but you really are a treasure, man. You you, you a thousand percent a treasure to the industry. Uh, 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 like Chris said, a motherfucking legend in Virginia, for sure. You know what Hip -hop I mean? Hip-hop Hall of Famer. Yeah, yeah. Hip-hop yeah, Hall man. of Famer, I'm yeah. claiming it. Well, and, and, and <laughs> yeah, I'm happy to call sure. you brother, man, for real. Thank you, man. Thank you, man. Yeah, yeah. likewise, uh, likewise. Take us out of here, Skills. So, yo, this has been Hip Hop Confessions, the 2020 wrap-up version and the creation of the 2020 wrap-up. I want to give a shout-out to all my guests, Andrew Hypes. Make sure you follow him at Andrew Hypes. Uh, I got Film Making Treasy in here. Follow him at Film Making Treasy. Christopher Schaefer. That's Chris with the C-R-I-S. They'll never get it. C-R-I-S, yeah. yeah, no H, yeah. Yeah, Christopher Schaefer. <laughs> <laughs> and and the homie Michael Millions, man. Thank y'all. I could, like I said, bro. I couldn't have did it without y'all, man. I just want to thank y'all so much. We got we got way bigger things that's coming up in 2021 too. So I'm excited about that as well. That's a fact. And um, yeah, man. We we will see y'all in a minute. This is Hip Hop Confessions, cause everybody got one. Here's a little story that must be told. And it goes a little something like this. this, this.